In this lecture, which is another tip about using Grafana, I want to show you how you can use a mix of Telegraph, InfluxDB and Grafana to monitor your Windows servers. You can virtually monitor any aspect of your Windows server with um, this system that we want to build. However, for this lecture, I have chosen the disk space because the lack of disk space is a common issue for Windows administrators. So before we just jump into the building this system, let's see what Telegraph, InfluxDB and Grafana R and then we start working on this. So Influx DB is a so Influx DB is a time series database. It's similar to Graphite and also Telegraph is a metric collection service. It's similar to StatsD but it has more functionalities and Telegraph sends data to Influx DB for us. And of course we use Grafana on top of Influx DB to visualize the data that we have collected. In order to see what Influx DB is and read about it you can go to influxdata.com and to download the components that we want to use you have to go to portal.influxdata.com slash downloads so what you see is the architecture of the system we want to build for this lecture i have chosen the disk space issue because as i said it's a common problem for windows servers that sometimes they run out of disk space and then uh, applications start failing and it can be hard to understand that why applications fail and sometimes by the time you know that it's because of the disk space and you free up some disk space it might be a bit late so we choose disk space for this lecture but you can choose many other metrics for this purpose so the way we monitor the different aspects of windows server is using windows performance monitor tool which is a standard tool it comes with any windows instances uh, as long as it's not a windows home edition you will have it even on windows 10 professional edition you will have it and of course on windows servers you can use windows performance monitor and shortly i will show you how we use it so you choose the performance metrics that you want in performance monitor tool and then telegraph will be able to connect to windows performance monitor and collect those statistics from windows performance monitor and send them to influx db influx db stores the data and obviously we connect to influx db from grafana to visualize this data if you use a graph panel to visualize the collected data in grafana you can create alerts and send the alerts to specific people as well what you see here is the windows performance monitor if i click on this green plus button I will get a long list of performance monitors that I can use. The one that we want to use today is the logical disk, this one. And if I expand it, you will see that it has many counters in it. The one we want to use is percentage of free disk space, this one. And if you just wait for a couple of seconds, you get uh, more data about uh, this counter. And uh, for example, what we want to monitor is disk C. So we just add it to the list of counters and we click on OK. And then if we wait for a few seconds, you will see that data is appearing. What it's telling me is that on my C drive, I have around 70% of free disk space. And it's constant because I'm not writing to the disk. If I start using the disk and uh, I lose free disk space, this is going to decline. And we want to send this metric now to InfluxDB and Telegraph and uh, show it on Grafana. So let's have a look at the Influx data website and see what we need to download. So I'm on Influx Data website on the download page. From the far left, um, we have Telegraph. Telegraph, as I said, is a data collection component. You need to download the available version by clicking on this red button. It will give you a zip file and you have to unzip the content of the zip file to program files and then a folder called Telegraph. You cannot put it under any other folders. You have to put it under a folder called Telegraph. And then download the InfluxDB uh, component. Again, it will give you a zip file. Uh, I suggest that you download the stable file. So the one on the top at this time is version 2, but it's in alpha. So we will download the stable one, which is 1.7.6. At the time you watch this video, you might have a different version. We are not going to download and use chronograph and capacitor. So we have nothing to do with them. So you put your InfluxDB in anywhere you want, any folder you would like. But for Telegraph, as I said, it has to be program files and then telegraph so now i have a command prompt open if i do a dir you will see that i am in a folder where my influx db files are the second executable from the top is influx d influx d is basically the server of influx db so we just run it 
And what it does is that it will give you uh, some text on the screen. One line is the telling you that uh, on which address and port this InfluxDB is listening. And as you see, it is on localhost port 8086. So when we want to connect to it, we will connect to localhost port 8086. So your InfluxDB is now running. Uh, we have to now install uh, Telegraph and run it as well. Now I'm where my telegraph components are. As you see, it has been copied to program files, telegraph. If I do a dir command, you will see that I have two main files. One of them is telegraph.exe and the other one is telegraph.conf. We have to uh, install telegraph as a Windows service. For that, we can say telegraph.exe dash service and then install. So now the Telegraph component is installed as a Windows service. Now we just do a net start Telegraph. So as you see, the Telegraph service is started. Uh, and now what we need to do is to have a look at the telegraph.conf because the metrics are defined in telegraph.conf. So when you open the telegraph.conf file, you have to find the section which is about inputs. And then one of the sections is inputs.winperf. Winperf refers to Windows performance and then counters. So winperf counters means Windows performance counters. And then this section has many uh, subsections. You just have to look at them. For example, you have processor. This one gives you metrics about your CPU. And the second one is logical disk. If you remember, we wanted to use logical disk and monitor the C drive. So the object name is logical disk. This is the one we need and then we have percentage of free disk space this is the metric we want to monitor and it is in win disk win disk is a measurement in influx db you won't really uh, be involved in creating the measurements it's all done by telegraph so now what we need to do is to go to grafana and then visualize this percentage of free disk space so now I'm in Grafana. In order to connect to InfluxDB, we have to go to the admin section and to data sources and click on add data source. Because we want to connect to InfluxDB, I just click on InfluxDB and I need to put the address on InfluxDB. The default address is shown when I just click in the URL box because we installed InfluxDB on the local machine and the standard port for InfluxDB is 8086. Uh, the default address is fine. We didn't set up any authentication because it's on the local database. So we skipped the authentication bit. And for the database, uh, Telegraph creates uh, its own database uh, which is called telegraph you just type telegraph in the database there is no username and password and then we click on save and test make sure that you get that uh, big green box at the bottom of the screen which says data source is working and uh, we are done with this we go back to the home page and we can create a new dashboard for that, we go and say new dashboard. And for visualization, you can use gauges or any other types of visualization. But if you want to create alerts, you have to use a graph panel. Gauges are really nice for showing, for example, how much disk space you have. Uh, in terms of visualization, they are really good, but they don't have alerts on them. So for graph panel, we can connect it to our influx DB data source. And then in the query, use the default and then use um, win underline disk and for field choose a percentage of free disk space and uh, leave the rest as they are the, it should be fine and then you will see that you are getting data i will just limit this to for example five minutes and you see that there are a lot of dots these are the data points that are being sent from uh, telegraph and if you want to have a line, just go to the visualization and under stacking and null value, change the null value to connected. That will give you a straight line. Or if you want the box, you can just say null is zero. But this can be a bit confusing because people might think you are losing disk space frequently. So leave it as connected, I suggest. If you want, you can use bars as well. But I think a straight line makes more sense because that means that your disk space is not changing. On the axis part, you can label your left axis as percentage free disk space. So now it we, people understand what you are talking about. And then you can give it a minimum and maximum. So minimum is 1 or 0 and the maximum is 100. And now if you go to, let's just say disk space now if you go to the alert section we can create an alert for example we can say if average of 
disk space in five minutes is below so change the is above to below and say for example 10 percent then raise alerts there is a topic about how you would create alerts so you can have a look at that topic for more details also if you create a notification channel for example email notification channel you can use it to send your notification to people um, in this local instance i don't have any channels to create a notification you have to go back and then uh, if you hover your mouse on the alert icon there is a notification channels you can add a notification channel and if you have set up smtp in your Grafana, you can use email or you can use um, other types of integration such as Microsoft Teams, Slack, PagerDuty or so forth to send your notification to one of these channels. Again, there is a topic about how you would create notifications. Uh, we go back to our dashboard. So as you see, now we have a dashboard that is displaying that we have exactly 68% of free disk space on C drive. And uh, there is this red line. This is displaying our alert. If the green line which is the amount of disk space falls before the red line then you will get an uh, alert and this uh, green heart means that uh, everything is okay if it turns to a red heart then something is broken which means disk space is low so with this system that we have you can technically monitor many aspects of your windows service for example you can monitor your windows services because windows services sometimes die and um, you may uh, wonder why something doesn't work and then uh, you figure out that again there is a windows service that is shut down with no reason or you can monitor for example how much memory you have how much network traffic you have anything that you can put on a windows performance monitor tool uh, you can monitor with grafana as well i hope that you enjoyed this tip